we've made tote bags out of old t-shirts, which so many seniors said that it made them feel like kindergartners again, which I thought was so sweet. One Winnipeg teen found a way to lighten the loneliness seniors feel during the pandemic by creating an online social group. Rhea Gupta is a 17-year-old student who started a group called Sustaining Strength of Seniors. She was inspired by her grandmother in India who lived alone and was struggling from social isolation. She was alone, and I noticed that through regular video calls with her. And also, I was missing my volunteer work quite a bit. When the pandemic began, I could no longer volunteer in the places I was normally volunteering at. And then I kind of put all these ideas together and thought, if my grandmother in India is struggling, then I'm sure that other elderly in my community are struggling too. The group was created in January, and since then they have met every Sunday afternoon to discuss different topics, enjoy hands-on activities, or indulge in informative discussions with guest speakers. Anything that makes them feel like their curiosity is being invigorated, anything that makes them feel like they're able to connect with each other. Basically, it's about an hour every week that's reserved for their well-being and just anything that makes them feel comfortable and happy. Rhea says the seniors appreciate knowing there's other people like them who are experiencing similar emotions and who are looking for friendship. It's just wonderful to be connected with other people. Um, I felt very isolated, alone, and... Uh, Meeting people of my own age group, as well as a youngster, is just absolutely delightful. For a lot of them, when they began these meetings, I could visibly notice their kind of glumness on their faces. But over time, that's transitioned into a lot of bright, radiating energy. Just being in the presence of others who are experiencing similar things to you helps quite a bit. Rhea says her and her group members are always looking for new members to join their growing community. In Winnipeg, Brianna Marcello, City News.